Okay, here we are in a beautiful <laughs> afternoon for June the 5th. Being a rather wet week at times. Uh, but just do our walkthrough here. We're just in the process of building stairs down to our lower and get to our lower storage area underneath the the pool deck and also to say this is our infinity reserve now this is I'm just showing you this is the first stage of the um, impermeable process so this is an impermeable mortar we put on here uh, so it's waiting for its next coat of the actual impermeable membrane so we'll have a look at that in the swimming pool as we return and make the obstacle pardon me for the bad camera work anyways did a section on the video specifically on impermeable but this uh, just finished the other day uh, this is our top coat which has this very rubbery impermeable and then on top of that reason for the color it's white but we throw silica sand in here to give it a rough texture so that when our bond X comes on, that's level number four of the impermeable, the whole waterproof process. So we throw that sand in there so that the bond X has something to bite to to fix the tile down. And this is, you see our, this is all of our polished nosings are all done. So our tile is actually on its way out today. For delivery next week. Now, the other. We just finished this this morning. Now, this, what you're seeing here, this bright yellow, is not because we're color coordinating, it's just because this is a really heavy uh, plastic, 15 mil plastic uh, made by Stego, and the point behind it uh, here's a little piece you can see it here how thick and tough it is so we put a nice bed of sand underneath here so that now we can finish off everything else is above this all of our electrical work and a little bit of air conditioning drains whatnot will go on top of this but the whole point of this is that this for this part of the year a problem in Costa Rica is weeping where moisture in the ground will come and weep up through the floor and create uh, basically wet spots. Uh, so that's what we do to trap all of that underneath. Now this is each of these rolls are 14 feet wide. There's this super sticky red tape that goes on through those joints. And then where we've done a perforation here with our plumbing tubes and whatever it is we're perforating that, we get this here, the super sticky black tar that seals all those off. This one, well, that's actually outside the house. This is a wall here. Um, anyway, so all of the plumbing is being done and uh, uh, these... These are all for our PEX lines uh, that basically are dedicated line coming through here so that uh, if there's ever a problem with a line, you don't have to worry about a concrete floor. You can, this is this cheap plastic tube is just used as a sleeve for the real PEX to travel through. Uh, and also another series of this, these tubes uh, here that's now all hidden underground is the gas network um, uh, that I'm aware of. I'm the only one I've found in this country that uh, 
puts gas networks in houses uh, because here we have, this is all of our tubes, this is all of our distribution of gas for the gas dryer, um, barbecue, stove, uh, actual water heaters, um, anyways all in interest of reducing energy costs, um, but and that, well, there's going to be a gas power plant, and that's hidden out behind the, the bodega there. The shed is where all of that goes. Um, so it's quiet, and the, and the gas tanks are hidden out behind there, and yet they're easy for access from the driver's so system. Anybody can drive in and dump tanks, tanks off. On this side, we built our our structure uh, to hold the stairs up for going down to the machine room so that's ready so uh, next week we'll be making the the stairs uh, which will be basically similar to this but in a straight gray concrete um, to make those threads so something that is never slippery and uh, very durable Anyways, um, that basically makes a relatively short, uh, we've, well, on this last tour we've done an awful lot of gravel work and compacting the heck out of everything. So our carport is, is ready, so we'll be pouring, we're, next work we'll be pouring this floor. Uh, but we've been getting the rest of the area ready and getting a base in here. Uh, as you can see, uh, nice rain last night, so makes things a little mucky at times. But anyways, that is almost, uh, and next week we'll start working on that gate. Anyways, well, and it looks like we're going to get an afternoon rain. It's building up nicely up there, which, well, for June is perfectly normal. Uh, and that's why all of those tarps everywhere are not there for decoration, that's for darn sure. Anyways, with that, we'll sign off until next time.